He actually speaks very good English, we just don't want to talk about <laughs> Even before he was elected US president, Donald Trump was turning the charm eastwards. India is the world's largest, it's the world's largest democracy. A, an amazing statement. And is a natural ally of the United States. Under a Trump administration, we are going to become even better friends. In fact, I'll take the word even out because we are going to be best friends. There won't be any relationship more important to us. Since then, the two leaders have officially met each other five times in the past two years, and their bond homie grows with every meal. They first met during PM Modi's 2017 visit to the US. PM Modi was the first foreign leader Donald Trump hosted at the White House, and the meeting saw a lot of smiles, hugs, and warm banter. I have always had a deep admiration for your country and for its people and a profound appreciation for your rich culture, heritage, and traditions. You have a big vision for improving infrastructure, and you are fighting government corruption, which is always a grave threat to democracy. During my campaign, I pledged that if elected, India would have a true friend in the White House. And that is now exactly what you have, a true friend. Rashtrapati or First Lady ne जिस प्रकार से मेरा और मेरे डेलीगेशन का भव्य स्वागत किया है, सम्मान किया है, ये सवासों करोड़ देशवासियों का सम्मान है, मैं इसके लिए राष्ट्रपति जी का और फर्स्ट लेडी का प्रदेश आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ। Later that year, the duo met at the Asian Summit in the Philippines and shared praise on each other. Prime Minister Modi here. We've had him at the White House, and he's become a friend of ours and a great gentleman doing a fantastic job. In 2018, they met at the G20 summit in Argentina, where they had a trilateral meet with Japan. The relationships between our three countries are extremely, extremely good, extremely strong. I think with India, maybe stronger than ever, and with Japan, I think stronger than ever. We're doing very well together. At the 2019 G20 summit in Osaka, Trump and Modi had a cordial bilateral meet and were also spotted sitting next to each other at dinner. Bharat and America are the same. We are committed to the vision of the world. We are committed to it. A month later, they met at the G7 summit in France, where they had this memorable exchange. He actually speaks very good English, we just don't want to talk. <laughs> but for all their personal rapport, there is still an undercurrent of tension regarding Indo-US ties. Issues like the tariff war, Trump offering to mediate over Kashmir, and Trump declining PM Modi's invite to be the Republic Day chief guest have threatened to upend their bilateral ties. Both PM Modi and Trump would hope that these issues could be resolved as easily as they share smiles, hugs and sometimes even a slap on the palm. <laughs> <laughs>